Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about Ekadashi Fasting. We all know Ekadashi Fasting is very beneficial for health. But for many people even Ekadashi word is very new. What is Ekadashi? Ekadashi means 11th day from the full moon or 11th day from the new moon. Actually, if we pay attention to our system, our, there are certain days in the month in which we don't want to eat anything. The body don't demand food, we don't feel hunger. But sometimes this not hunger is because of some disease or we have eaten overeating. So this also sometimes happens. So traditionally, we have made a system that 11th day from the new moon and 11th day from the full moon that is known as Ekadashi. This day let's set for fasting or just it's a way to detox your body because in this day there is natural support from the nature that you can intensify your sadhana or it is the way that you can open your doors inward or it's the best time to go in. So it's very important on this day we keep our system light. So what is the best way to keep your system light so that you can save your energies and energies will not go into food digestion that is fasting and not only this it has a lot of health benefits also as you know if somebody wants to intensify its sadhana ekachi fasting is a very natural and very beneficial way but many times people ask me question like ekadashi fasting we want to do but we can't do we feel we just drink tea whole night a whole day and we don't eat food so if you are eating any kind of tea on Ekachi day it is not beneficial for your system because you are not eating food but you are taking tea so uh, it is not it doesn't come under intermittent fasting also and it doesn't come under any kind of fasting then when I ask like why you drink tea during Ekadashi then they say because if we drink tea we don't feel hunger and it also give us fake satisfaction like oh we are having some food tea or coffee people are taking so I would suggest if you are taking tea or coffee empty stomach what will happen it will enhance the vata dosha inside you anyway this whenever you fast is aggravate vata dosha and if you are taking more of tea and coffee then it will aggravate your vata dosha more so uh, I would suggest try to avoid tea or coffee during fasting because it will generate a lot of dryness in your system. So rather than if you are not able to do fast, if you feel hunger, don't force yourself like, okay, I, I will not eat anything because today is Ekachi and I will starve myself and I will weaken my health. Uh, don't do these things. You just first prepare your body for proper fasting. That includes daily doing your sadhana. Daily sadhana is needed to uh, incorporate a fast which is without tension free, uh, like in which body will not suffer that is very important so how you can do you can do daily practices your yoga pranayam meditation so that body will be naturally prepared for it because yoga pranayam meditations it balances your energies and on ekadashi when your energies will be balanced for you it will become more easy to go inside and uh, starting your inward journey it's very important Another thing is don't starve yourself, don't torture yourself. If you feel like you are not able to do uh, fast, so don't feel bad or don't like you know oh I am not even able to do fast this kind of things please remove from your mind it's better you start doing fasting with fruits uh, you can have fruits around 12 or 1 o'clock or even two times uh, during Ekadashi so that your stomach will stay light because food take consume less energy to digest and it get digested in your system very quickly as compared to grain diet. So you can make use of fruits, you can have fruit diet on Ekadashi but uh, if your body is not prepared enough and for you it's huge hunger and after this Ekadashi fasting you are feeling super tired then that means your body is not 
uh, ready for now uh, for fasting. So, you can do Ekadashi fasting by having fruit diet. Uh, so, natural fruits you can take, seasonal fruits you can take. These fruits will provide you a lot of energy and at the same time it will also keep your body light. So, this is very one way that you can do fasting. After the fast is over you can uh, if you want to open your fast, you please open your fast with some light diet. You do not take that day white flour or any fried thing or very heavy thing. You can take khichdi or brown chickpeas along with wheat if you want to take. Keep your uh, uh, food very light and have good amount of salads and then anything cooked food. This way if you are doing fasting it will solve two purpose. One thing it will help your sadhana and your spiritual support will be elevated at the same time uh, your uh, health will be maintained and you will not feel weakness. As you know Ekachi fasting has a lot of anti-cancer benefits also. So, Ekachi fasting is not suggested in the ancient scriptures, but modern scientists are also supporting intermittent fasting or any kind of fasting uh, because it is very very beneficial for your system because this is the time when your body uh, get rest, your energies get rest, your digestive fire get rest, your stomach gets rest. Also, if you want, you can also have Indian gooseberry on Ekachi. It is very beneficial because it is a natural herb. If you do not want to eat fruits, Indian gooseberry you can eat. It is very, very beneficial for your health. When you open your fast, make sure that you open your fast with, with some fruits and salads and then something cooked. And do, uh, if you have observing Akadashi fast and if you want to open fast, do not open it at very night because at night your digestive fire goes very down and then you will not be able to digest your uh, food either then you do not eat anything or if you have to take one meal in on Akadashi then you please try to have it uh, just before sunset, not on Sandhya Kala but before sunset that in this way. Uh, your food will be well digested and you can avail the benefits of Ekadashi. And today uh, if you want to use some detox drink, let us say anyway you are eating some fruit and you want to have some detox drink, you can have Ashgard juice that is very beneficial. But make sure the Ashgard should be of organic origin and should not be overripe. that is very beneficial but fully ripe or any other detox juice also you can take like beetroot, uh, beetroot and uh, carrot juice you can take that is also very good detox drink. So, those of you who are not able to do Ekadshi fasting they can uh, use it as a detox day also. So, that is all about today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you are watching me for the first time there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button. Please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click this join button and you can support us. Those of you who want Ayurveda consultations, please write to me on this given email ID and I will let you know how we can schedule it. If you have any questions, please write down those questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So, with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care, bye.